The Nikon Z7 Mark III is making waves in the photography world as rumors and leaks continue to fuel excitement. As we eagerly await its arrival, many photographers are left wondering, should you upgrade to the Z7 Mark III, or is the Z7 Mark II still a strong contender? Let's break down everything we know so far, including specs, features, and how it compares to its predecessor. Nikon Z7 III, a leap forward in mirrorless technology, the Nikon Z7, Mark III, is shaping up to be an absolute powerhouse in the mirrorless camera world. If the rumors hold true, we're looking at a weather-sealed magnesium alloy body designed for rugged use, making it perfect for outdoor photographers. A deeper grip and improved ergonomics are also expected, promising a more comfortable experience for those long shooting sessions. There's also speculation about a high-resolution OLED touchscreen, possibly 3.2 inches, offering sharper previews and enhanced color accuracy for better monitoring of shots. Sensor and performance, where it gets really interesting. The heart of. Any camera is its sensor, and the Nikon Z7 Mark III is rumored to sport a 61 to 67 megapixel sensor. While these rumors vary, the key takeaway is the promise of exceptional resolution. Whether it's a 90.75 megapixel sensor or a slightly lower resolution, the upside is clear. Expect even better low-light performance and a wider dynamic range, thanks to the backside illuminated BSI design. Coupled with this sensor, Nikon is likely to include dual Xpeed 7 processors. These upgraded processors should drastically improve performance, handling large image files and boosting autofocus and video capabilities. This means faster shooting speeds, with some reports suggesting 14 frames per second with full autofocus and up to 20 FPS in electronic shutter mode. The autofocus system itself is expected to be faster and more reliable, with 493 phase detection points, AI-powered subject detection, and the ability to track not only humans and animals, but vehicles as well. In-body image stabilization and video. Capabilities in body image stabilization is another key area where the Z7 Mark III is expected to shine. With up to eight stops of compensation, you can expect smooth, shake-free handheld shots in low-light conditions, ideal for both stills and video work. As for video, Nikon is expected to offer 6K video at 120 FPS and possibly 8K at 60 FPS. This will provide videographers with an excellent mix of high-resolution footage and slow-motion capabilities. Moreover, the camera is likely to support advanced video codecs like ProRes RAW, H.265, and 10-bit internal recording for professional-grade color grading. Connectivity and power A's for connectivity, the Z7 Mark III should come equipped with 5G Hz, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.2, allowing for faster file transfers and seamless mobile device pairing. With dual card slots for CF Express Type-B and UHS-2 SD cards, you'll have ample space for storing high-resolution files without worrying about running out of space during long shoots. Expect better battery life with a larger ENEL15C battery or an optional battery grip to extend shooting times, image quality, and Nikon's signature color. Science Nikon has built a reputation for producing cameras with outstanding color science, and the Z7 Mark III is expected to carry on that legacy. Whether you're shooting landscapes, portraits, or studio photography, you can expect exceptional detail, accurate color reproduction, and clean low-light performance, making this an attractive option for both enthusiasts and professionals price, and release date. As we approach the potential launch window rumored to be sometime between August and November 2025, the Z7 Mark III's price is expected to range between $3,000 and $3,500. While this may seem steep, it's well within range for a flagship camera designed for professionals and serious enthusiasts alike. Is it worth the wait? The Nikon Z7 Mark III has the potential to be a game-changer in the world of high-resolution mirrorless cameras. If you're someone who prioritizes resolution, low-light performance, and overall image quality, this could be the upgrade you've been waiting for. But the big question is, should you wait for the Z7 Mark III, or is the Z7 Mark II still a good option? The Z7 Mark II remains a solid camera in its own right, offering great resolution, excellent autofocus, and superb image quality. However, 
The Z7 Mark III seems poised to take things to the next level in terms of processing power, autofocus performance, and video capabilities. If you can wait, it might be worth holding off for the new model to arrive, especially if you're looking for the best Nikon has to offer in mirrorless technology. How does it compare to the competition? Now let's talk about the competition. The Sony A7R iFi is often considered a top contender in the high-resolution camera market, but Nikon is setting its sights on dethroning this powerhouse with the Z7 Mark III. With its rumored 67 megapixel sensor, enhanced IBIS, and advanced autofocus, the Z7 Mark III could very well provide a better option for those who prioritize resolution and color science. However, the Sony A7R iFi is known for its speed and video performance, which might give it an edge for those shooting fast-moving subjects or creating content that requires higher video frame rates. Final Thoughts In conclusion, if you're a professional, photographer or videographer looking for the best image quality, the Nikon Z7 Mark III is shaping up to be an impressive upgrade over its predecessor. With its rumored 61-67MP sensor, enhanced autofocus, and top-tier video capabilities, it's clear that Nikon is pushing the boundaries of what's possible in a mirrorless camera. However, with a potential release date in 2025, there's a long way to head. So if you're in urgent need of a camera now, the Z7 Mark II remains a fantastic option. Let me know in the comments. Are you excited about the Z7 Mark III? Do you think it's worth the wait, or are you happy with your current gear? As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the latest cameras and tech gear.